Welcome to Bodhi, California, a ghost town frozen in time. In this video, we'll unravel the mysteries and stories hidden behind its weathered walls. Join us as we step back in time to explore the largest gold mining ghost town in California. Nestled on the eastern slope of the Sierra Nevada mountains, Bodhi welcomes you with an air of mystery and nostalgia. The town, much larger in person than any video can capture, was once a bustling hub of gold mining activity. As you enter, you'll find ample parking and convenient amenities, including bathrooms near the parking lot. Now, let's embark on a journey through the remnants of Bodhi's past. Our first stop is the McDonnell House, where Donald and Mary McDonnell, along with their son Frank, lived in the 1920s. Nearby, schoolteacher Alice Dolan found solace between 1935 and 1937. Bodhi boasts the Methodist Church, a sole survivor from 1882. Its weathered facade tells tales of the town's devout past, echoing with whispers of times long gone. The David Victor Kane House stands as a testament to the town's affluent residents. Each brick holds a story, from Kane's prosperous days to the whispers of the wind that echo through its empty halls. James Stewart Kane, a lumber merchant and banker, resided in the grandeur of his namesake house with wife Martha Delilah Wells. His influence extended to owning many properties in Bodhi, shaping the town's destiny. Step inside the Miller House and marvel at the remnants of domestic life frozen in time. From the creaking wooden floors to the faded wallpaper, every corner tells a tale of a family's existence. The rocking chair, tables, chaise lounge, and even the baby crib silently narrate stories of the past.
Beside the dust-covered lanes, a 1927 Dodge Graham rests alongside antique gas pumps, reminding us of a bygone era of mobility and exploration. The General Store, once owned by George Wheaton and Nicholas Lures, saw bustling trade in the 1880s. Later acquired by James Kane, it became a cornerstone of the town's commerce, echoing with the laughter of children and the haggling of adults. Inside the schoolhouse, time stands still. The organ's silent melody lingers in the air, while old chalkboards, desks, and toys evoke the spirited voices of children long gone. The wood stove, a silent guardian, shares stories of winter days warmed by its flames. Green Street, once a bustling artery of Bodhi, now echoes with the footsteps of curious visitors. Its dusty lanes hide secrets of the past, inviting you to unravel the tales engraved in every cobblestone. Dr. Street's house, a relic of medical history, speaks of John Street's healing hands during his tenure with the Treadwell Yukon Mining Company. The mysterious lone boot found inside sparks the imagination, leaving us to wonder about its story. The heart of Bodhi, the mine, tells the story of sweat, toil, and dreams. It echoes with the clang of pickaxes and the dreams of striking gold, reminding us of the town's raison d'etre. The Jaws, successful mining investors, left their mark on Bodhi. Their house later housed the post office, 
becoming a testament to the town's enduring spirit. Nearby, the ruins of Bodhi Bank stand tall, with its brick vault as the last testament to a fiery past. As you wander, keep your eyes on the ground, Bodhi's soil hides treasures. Rusted vehicles, once the pride of their owners, now peacefully sleep, gradually reclaimed by the earth. Union Street, witness to countless stories, invites you to imagine the echoes of conversations, footsteps, and laughter that once filled the air. The Firehouse, a symbol of resilience, rose from the ashes of devastating fires in 1892 and 1932. Inside, ancient fire carts stand proudly, relics of the brave souls who fought to preserve Bodhi's heritage. Miner's Union Hall where unions gathered and festivals roared, now stands as a museum. The hearse carriages, a somber reminder of mortality, share space with pianos, leather tire chains, and other artifacts, preserving the essence of an era long past.
the independent order of odd fellows whispers secrets of camaraderie and mystery. The piano's melancholic notes blend with the echoes of laughter, preserving the spirit of a secret society. The Shambo Hotel, a witness to Bodhi's evolution, started as a post office, transformed into a hotel, and finally embraced the role of a bar and cafe. Its walls resonate with the stories of travelers, adventurers, and dreamers. The County Barn, a weathered sanctuary shelters a sled frozen in time. Its walls silently echo with the whinnies of horses and the shouts of workers, reminding us of the town's industrious spirit. Lastly, meet the little green truck, a 1940 Ford frozen in time, its rusted exterior silently narrating stories of long-forgotten adventures and journeys through Bodhi's rugged terrain.
Before visiting Bodie, California, it's essential to understand that Bodie is a well-preserved ghost town and state park nestled in the eastern Sierra Nevada mountains. Bodie was a bustling gold mining town in the late 1800s and now stands as a captivating time capsule, offering a glimpse into the past. Bodie is much larger in person than what videos might convey, providing a vast area to explore. Each corner is steeped in history. Upon arrival, there's a designated entrance with associated fees. Convenient amenities like restrooms are available near the parking lot. Bodhi is home to various historic buildings, including residences of former inhabitants, a Methodist church, a schoolhouse, a bank, and more. Notable residences include the McDonald House, Kane Houses, and the Miller House, each offering a unique insight into the lives of the town's former residents. Public spaces such as the Methodist Church, Schoolhouse, General Store, Firehouse, and Miners Union Hall have been preserved and offer a glimpse into Bodie's communal life. Bodie's roots are deeply tied to mining. The mine and surrounding artifacts provide a vivid picture of the town's industrial past. Various artifacts, including vehicles, tools, furniture, and personal belongings, are scattered throughout the town, providing a tangible connection to its history. Visitors are advised to be respectful and not disturb the artifacts. Bodhi is a place of historical significance and preserving its integrity ensures future generations can experience its unique charm. Exploring Bodhi is a journey through time, offering a chance to imagine the lives of those who once inhabited this vibrant, now ghostly town. Remember, Bodhi is not just a destination, it's an immersive historical experience, allowing you to step back into the Wild West era and relive the days of the California Gold Rush.